NVIDIA is known as a giant in the tech world, always standing out with its innovations. But in an era where numerous startups are emerging with fresh inventions, many speculated that NVIDIA might lose its edge. But guess what? NVIDIA just announced their new project, Groot, and their new AI chips, Blackwell, propelling them light years ahead in the race for AI dominance. Uh, people think we make GPUs, and, and we do, but GPUs don't look the way they used to. These aren't just any chips. They're designed to power the next era of computing, enabling organizations to build and run real-time generative AI on large language models with much less cost and energy consumption. And with Project Root, NVIDIA is not just maintaining its place, it's setting a new standard for what's possible in AI and robotics. In one word, energizing, yeah, really inspiring. Tech enthusiasts are calling NVIDIA's AI conference a must-attend event. Welcome to GTC. NVIDIA stock is up very slightly. Shares were down nearly 4% earlier in today's session. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, recently covered many topics at their GPU technology conference. This conference is a key event for showcasing the latest advancements in GPU technology, AI, and deep learning. The world's most powerful chips, Blackwell Superchips. CEO NVIDIA Jensen Huang termed these chips the world's most powerful chip. And while introducing the Blackwell Superchips, he said, people think we make GPUs and we do, but GPUs don't look the way they used to. Uh, people think we make GPUs, and, and we do, but GPUs don't look the way they used to. He said this because this superchip is not just an incremental update, it is like a giant leap forward in GPU technology. It's way more powerful, efficient, and packed with innovations compared to Hopper, the previous model. This is Hopper. Hopper changed the world. This is Blackwell. This sets a whole new standard for how AI and computing will work in the future. With its ability to perform 20 petaflops, the B200 is incredibly fast at processing data, thanks to its 208 billion transistors. Well, when it comes to efficiency, pairing the B200 with a Grace CPU allows it to outperform the previous H100 chip by up to 30 times, making it a powerhouse that's also cost-effective and energy-efficient. In terms of capacity, the B200 stands out by being able to train massive AI models with trillions of parameters using significantly fewer resources. And speed? The B200 leaves its predecessors in the dust seven times faster when dealing with large-scale models like GPT-3. This means tasks that used to take ages can now be done in a fraction of the time. In essence, NVIDIA's Blackwell B200 GPU is like a turbocharged engine for AI propelling the industry into a new era of speed and efficiency. Imagine an AI that can think and learn on its own, creating music, and art, or even helping doctors with complex surgeries. That's the kind of future the Blackwell B200 is making possible. So it's not just about tech, it's about the doors it opens for us all. With NVIDIA's new chip, we're stepping into a world where the line between science fiction and reality gets blurrier every day. But there's a problem. The networks connecting these powerful processors are getting clogged up. Luckily, NVIDIA has a solution. They've introduced a new NVLink 5.0 switch chip. The NVLink switch. It's 50 billion transistors. It's almost the size of Hopper all by itself. To speed up data transfer between processors. This new NVLink can move data super fast, 100 gigabytes per second. Each Blackwell GPU will have 18 of these connections, giving it way more bandwidth than before. NVIDIA is using it to build huge supercomputers with their GB200 NVL72 frames. These frames pack in a bunch of powerful chips, each with its CPU and GPU. With nine NVLink switches, they can connect all these chips to create a super powerful system. This supercomputer isn't just about raw speed. It's perfect for training massive AI models with trillions of parameters. With the new setup, NVIDIA says they can train these models much faster than before using less power in a fraction of the time. But it's not just AI. This technology will also help with things like big data analytics and simulations. How big techs are embracing NVIDIA's new hardware. Big names like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and Oracle Cloud Infrastructure are getting on board with NVIDIA's Blackwell. Well, they're going to use Blackwell to power up their services, 
which means people using these cloud platforms will get to use some advanced tech for their AI projects and other big computing tasks. Also, other companies that work closely with NVIDIA, like Applied Digital, CoreWeave, Crusoe, IBM Cloud, and Lambda, will offer services powered by Blackwell too. This move makes sure that this cool new technology is available to a lot of people, no matter which cloud service they use. It's a big step forward, making super powerful computing accessible to more people and showing how important NVIDIA's new gadget is for the future of AI and cloud computing. Now look at this picture. This is what Mark Zuckerberg, Sam Altman, and Satya Nadella think about collaboration with NVIDIA. Other than that, tech giant Elon Musk thinks there's nothing better than NVIDIA hardware for AI. I am Groot. Humanoid Robots Project, Groot. The NVIDIA CEO announced another project, Groot, a multimodal AI system that acts as the mind for advanced humanoid robots, enabling them to learn skills and interact with the real world. A general purpose foundation model for humanoid robot learning. With the foundation model at its core, Groot grants robots the ability to comprehend and act on multimodal instructions, bridging the gap between human communication and robotic understanding. Moreover, Groot boasts cross-platform compatibility, meaning it's designed to work seamlessly across various robotic platforms, enhancing the versatility of robotic applications. Well, the technology stack behind this innovation is equally impressive. And produces the next action for the robot to execute. We developed Isaac Lab, a robot learning application to train Groot on Omniverse Isaac Sim. And we scale out with NVIDIA's Isaac Lab plays a pivotal role in simulations, providing a virtual testing ground for robots to learn and adapt before they ever set foot in the real world. And to top it off, the integration with GearLab is pushing the boundaries even further. GearLab's mission is to develop versatile agents that can operate effectively in both virtual and real environments, setting the stage for a future where robots can transition smoothly between simulation training and real-world action. Well, as part of Project Groot, NVIDIA introduced Jetson Thor, a cutting-edge computing platform specifically tailored for humanoid robots. Think of it like a super-powered computer brain that can fit into robots, helping them to think fast and move smoothly. At its core lies the NVIDIA Thor system on a chip, which boasts a next-generation GPU based on the powerful NVIDIA Blackwell architecture. This GPU incorporates a transformer engine capable of delivering a staggering 800 teraflops of 8-bit floating-point AI performance, enabling it to efficiently run complex generative AI models like Groot. Additionally, Jetson Thor integrates an advanced functional safety processor, a high-performance CPU cluster, and ample Ethernet bandwidth, 100 GB, to facilitate seamless interaction with both humans and machines. NVIDIA's collaboration extends to leading companies in the robotics industry, such as 1X Technologies, Agility Robotics, Aptronic, Boston Dynamics, Figure AI, Fourier Intelligence, Sanctuary AI, Unitree Robotics, and Xpeng Robotics, among others. By providing these partners with access to cutting-edge computing technologies and simulation tools, NVIDIA aims to accelerate the development of AI-powered humanoid robots capable of revolutionizing various industries and everyday tasks. Additionally, NVIDIA launches Project Omniversi, a virtual world engine on the Azure cloud. It creates digital twins for industries, helping AI agents navigate complex environments. The future of heavy industries starts as a digital twin. The AI agents helping robots, workers, and infrastructure navigate unpredictable events in complex industrial spaces will be built and evaluated first in sophisticated digital twins. NVIDIA is under pressure from tech giants. Yes, you heard it right. A group of big tech companies, including Google, Intel, Qualcomm, and Arm, have teamed up to form the UXL Foundation. Their goal is pretty clear. Make AI software that can run on any chip, not just NVIDIA's. This could be a game changer because it means more companies, like Amazon and Microsoft, could get in on the action. They're using Intel's One API to make this happen, and if they succeed, it could shake up NVIDIA's spot at the top and spark a whole lot more innovation and competition in the world of AI. Also, there's news about the Stargate project, 
a big venture by OpenAI and Microsoft to create a supercomputer that could take AI to new heights. This project is all about breaking limits and exploring what's possible with a big budget behind it. As for NVIDIA, the future is uncertain, but the race to advance AI is getting more exciting. Well, what are your thoughts? Will NVIDIA remain number one in the chip market, or will another competitor beat its position? Share your insights in the comments below. Also, check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.